I've got the Rockets at number one, just so I have an excuse to have Golden State at number two, at least for the time being, given the Rockets' regular season success. Warriors at two, Raptors at three, and then four and five, the Celtics and the Cavs. For the Celtics, Madeline, something that stands out to me in late-game situations, they can't always rely on Brad Stevens to draw something out, and they're limited with their creators. Really, only Kyrie Irving is the guy they can trust to go get a bucket. Perhaps Tatum can grow into that role, Brown as well, but right now it's just Irving. They struggle offensively. For the Cavaliers, I'm very interested to see how they do with Tristan Thompson out and Larry Nance sliding into that center spot. I think ultimately that's the lineup they're going to want to use because they've struggled a little bit after that first uh, post-trade deadline boom. Robin, I think we're pretty much in agreement except for our number five spot. I went with the counterintuitive pick here. I've got the Sixers sliding in at the five spot after the Rockets, Warriors, Raptors, and Celtics. I think Philadelphia has been playing very well of late. They're 8-3 and three in the month of February. They've been 30-19 and 19 with Joel Embiid in the game. They've got, I mean, he's playing well. He and Ben Simmons are playing well together. They've got a lot of uh, great continuity. And they're also making moves to show that this team is focused on winning and focused on building towards winning. The additions of Ursan Ilyasova and Marco Bellinelli are going to really be an impact on the stretch. Um, I mean, they could play 500 basketball and make it into the playoffs, but I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to play above 500 basketball. These two guys are going to really help a bench that's been inconsistent so far this season. And it also just shows it's a statement to the league. Hey, we are here. We are here to win. We are here to make moves, and we are making moves in a positive direction. I'm trusting the process, and I'm really enjoying watching this team play at very least. I think you're accelerating the process a little bit. <laughs> you know, like, I, I enjoy watching them play as well. Their starting five has been great. I think I undersold Embiid a little bit. I always knew he was great. He's dominant He's out on the floor. Dominant. But I don't think the, the Sixers are ready for that action yet. I don't know. Five. I don't know. Don't sleep on the Sixers. The Illadelph is is here to make some noise right now.